Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, bringing you kind of a hangout video in Scarland as we talk a little bit about where I've been. So as you guys know, it's been about a week or so since I last made a video. Actually, it's been a little bit longer. But um, yeah, I've been not feeling very well. My muscles and my body just kind of went kaput on me and I have been trying to uh, kind of struggle back up and kind of get going again for the last couple of days. And yeah, so longtime subscribers know that there sometimes are long breaks between videos, but I've been very lucky, very lucky in the last couple uh, months or the last year or so that I've been able to uh, have a pretty good streak of kind of a decent health and making videos. So Finally, that kind of unfortunately came to kind of an end last week or so, and I kind of uh, not so much got a real virus like sick, but my muscles really just decided just to kind of uh, go kaput on me. And I kind of been stuck in bed here, just staring at my empty computer here. So this is pretty much what my house kind of, well, not exactly. I don't have these really cool four poster bed, it's awesome bookshelves, and I don't live in a tree, but my bed faces my computer, and uh, it's been empty and sad over in the corner. So um, yeah, so you know, as some of you guys know, I have a neuromuscular disease and it makes me, you know, on a good day, very weak and, uh oh, I heard something spooky over in this corner over here. But um, it makes me pretty weak and it affects a lot of my body and when something happens like a virus or, oh, hey, hey, come on, get, get out of here. We're, we're talking over here. All right, so um, it affects my body in a lot of different ways. And when I get sick or it just decides one day that it just it had enough, it just kind of shuts down and I get can't get out of bed. I get really, really, really tired. My muscles just get too weak to do anything. And that's what happened. I don't know if it was a virus or my whatever is wrong with me, whatever muscle, muscular disease that I have just... It gets tired and it's just like, oh, no more, no more, need to take a break. And you just kind of uh, have to sit in bed for a while and try to get back into it. At least this time, uh, which I'm lucky, I wasn't, I didn't have to go in the hospital. I spent, my family and I have spent all, so much time the last few years getting to a point where we don't usually have to go in the hospital now for these types of things now that I'm have a feeding tube, um, have my own oxygen at home, things like that that would be done in a hospital. Now I can do at home, so I guess you could say it's the Scarland Hospital now, and I'm not having to go to the hospital for some of these things. So that's a good thing, and the least amount of time you spend in a hospital, the better. So you're not exposed to a lot of uh, you know more germs and they like to try things on you and those never really work out like medicines and things and so if you can stay home and do your own thing you are better for it so yeah so i not not been feeling good getting back into it again so like i said it i've had a pretty lucky streak for the last um you know year or so there's been some, you know, times where I've been tired and I usually kind of can predict a little bit when these things are going to happen and I can kind of plan like, okay, I'm just not feeling well this, you know, week. This could lead to, you know, a little bit worse, you know, next week where I wouldn't be able to make a video. So let's make a couple extra videos today or the next day. I usually make maybe, usually can only make at the maximum two videos a day or in a day. And I know, okay, so now I have a backup, a backup, you know, video for if I can't make anything next week, I got this one that I can upload. And unfortunately, I've been trying to make so many videos a week, which is not a lot to some YouTubers, you know, three or four videos I've been making, but it's a lot to me. It's, it's a lot. And I didn't have any extra videos. So unfortunately, that's why the drought of videos on my channel kind of, you know, went away. So yeah, that's kind of where we are, and if you guys don't know, this of course is the Scarland tree farm, and there's the mother tree, and we're just cutting down some trees, getting some resources, and once I was able to finally kind of get out of bed and kind of try to get back into things, this is what I've been doing, gathering resources. Some of the resource, like uh, some of the rare minerals, you know, the diamonds, the iron, that was getting a little low, so I've been mining and mining and mining and at the end of this video i'm going to show you what i've been mining and how much i've gotten out of the ground 
and it's a it's a substantial amount of resources so when you're sick and you can't do anything else mine 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 and that's what i've been doing so we have a pretty good uh standing now in scarland um pretty much every area within the world be it the oh i just heard a sizzle i just heard a sizzle uh i guess not so if we're in the tree farm or if we're in the original area of Scarland, the desert cube, each area has its own kind of stock of resources. So there's, you know, diamonds, iron, wood, co cobble, things like that. And most of those areas had, you know, a decent stack or two of diamond, a couple of stacks of iron. But um, now I have a pretty good supply now underground in my kind of storage area that if those dry run dry, in the next you know couple months i can head down there now and grab them out so yeah i've got a nice little stack of uh, resources now and let's see here so i'm just going to grab a few more of these uh saplings finished replanting this and then we can head down and store this down in the birch storage room so for my videos before you know i got sick it, it was coming to a point where i knew something you know i was kind of struggling a little bit in you know getting out as many videos as i wanted and i you know i felt like if i kept going at the pace with hey hey get out of here get out of here so if i felt if i kept at the pace that i was going i i could have you know kind of a shutdown on my muscles which kind of happened be it you know some type of virus or my muscle disease just kind of saying we need a break and that's why you guys haven't seen the skyden series i had to make the decision to i think i pretty much decided to let that series go and focus on scarland hexit building the modern house which soon i hope to move that series into building kind of like a medieval village on uh amplified terrain world so when that kind of wraps up and i just i just is there a spider up there <laughs> there is um i just didn't have the strength to continue with that other series and making some of the fun gta videos which i've had some of the most fun ever making videos doing some of those and the skydive video series just you know i just had to say you know this was the series that I'm just not going to continue it for now. I, you know, I, it wasn't just some light decision I made because I know some people really enjoyed it and, you know, they invested their time watching it. And I, I felt like people enjoyed the other series a little bit more. And if I had to get rid of one, that was going to be it. So I'm really sorry about canceling that series. I just couldn't keep up with it anymore with some of the other series that were a little bit more popular on my channel. And yeah, I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you get, there's still some other good stuff on my channel for you guys to enjoy. And yeah, so I really miss making videos, so I'm thankful that everything went okay. I was able to recover from this, and that spider is still up there. Is it following me from tree to tree? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm very, very thankful that this didn't result in me having to go to the hospital or having something worse going on. I was able to recover a good bit. So yeah, making videos again. So this week I have that Hexa video that I made. So I'm definitely going to put that up. Probably next week we'll do get the Modern House series going again. I don't want to jump back into it full steam and relapse into another kind of a shutdown. So, you know, I'll take it slow, take it slow, get back into making videos again. And so what we're going to do this week, I'll post this video. You'll Watch this and then I'll get the Hexit video out. So that'll be good. And then let's see. Hopefully I can get the Hexit video out. And then this week's super awesome Minecraft episode. We're gonna go to we're gonna Oh, there he is. He's back. <laughs> get him, Dougie, get him. So we're going to go to Project to Project. So we're going to tour Scarland, but in a different way. We're going to go from project area to project area. So I'm going to show you guys where the roller coaster is going to go, how it's going to be laid out, where it's going to be. And then I'm going to show you some smaller projects. And I want to get your guys' opinions on what we're going to do. Do you want to see large scale projects in Scarlet or maybe a, a, maybe a couple, maybe a month or two of smaller projects where we build a fishing hut? I've been wanting to build a fishing hut and dock 
since I since I first saw a tweet that the fishing mechanic was going to get updated. I even built a couple prototypes and in my creative test bed world, and I would love to do that maybe. So if that's something you guys want to see, or I need to redo my enchanting area, so that would be really kind of fun to maybe make. So we're going to kind of dive into that a little bit this week. And yeah, so I hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing, I don't know, a lighter side of Scarland. Usually it's always all business, you know. We're going to build a house and we're going to build a kitchen. And this is how we're going to do it. I don't know. We never really kind of hang out in Scarland and kind of uh, tour around. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode where we head out to the uh, Scarland tree farm here. And we need to go to the mine. So my current mine in Scarland is by the tree or by the uh, house building project and by the roller coaster. They're going to kind of connect because the mine's getting that big. So we'll head over there and all the mines in Scarland are pretty much temporary setups. You know, I kind of dig down, I set up a little, a little temporary base camp, nothing fancy by any means down at bedrock. And then I, you know, mine for a little bit. When that project kind of wraps up, then I uh, close the mine. So there, the first mine in Scarland is at the original house. So that's kind of the platform with the tree, the tree out of the tree house, if you will. So the first thing we built and then after that, I built a mine in the, what is it, the, that one's still active, I guess. It's in the uh, Desert Cube. So there's mine in there. And then my next mine I built was here. So it's, hey, look at this, brand new sword's gonna kill you. Um, it's just over there. So there's a mine for this project over there. And then the house building project's mine is actually closed. I even went through and took all the torches out, but of course all the pathways remain. And let me just swoop up a few of these extra resources we dropped here. And we don't need all of these saplings. I've got more saplings than I know what to do with. But um, just try to grab a few extra. But um, that mine was closed and the um, greenhouse is over it at the moment. So the greenhouse covers it. And then just over by the west side storage area is my current mine. So let's drop off our saplings. There we go. And let's see, here's my oak, my logs. So is there a chest that's half full? Yeah, here we go. So there we go. All right. So as you can see, this area has been updated a little bit. Um, I added uh, leaves according to which wood the floor had and I've removed a lot of the torches and I think it looks a lot nicer. I do want to get rid of these torches too, but I might do some lighting in the ceiling or something along those lines. And I want to show you the jungle because the jungle is actually my favorite right now because look at this. I think the leaves look pretty cool and then I've got some of the cocoa bean pods up on the wood. I think that looks kind of cool. Alrighty, so, and you guys know, oh, you guys know that there is new trees and we do need to update the tree farm at some point so we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to figure out hey oh my God, she's waiting for me she's waiting for me and we got to get rid of some of you know why there's so many dogs and cats around here because of that all right so give me one second i'm going to shoot on over to the mine so i can show you guys that and i'll be right back All right, welcome back here. And here is my current mine just next to the suspension bridge. So here it is down here. And let's just pop on down here real quick. And you guys always want to see this stuff. And I, you know, I always say, oh, why do you want to see this stuff? But, you know, I'm a man of the people and I shall show you. So this is my current mine setup. Nothing fancy. I always want to make a real permanent mine that has like an awesome setup with mine cars and storage areas. But I just never seem to ever get around to it. Hello there, kitties. And yeah, so here's the mine. And it started out with just a couple chests. And then I just kind of kept adding more and more. And then I realized it's a lot more efficient to stack chests like that. So that's kind of how it is. And let's see, do we have anything cooking in here? Nope, nope, nope. And yeah, so here's my box. And I've mined a lot. I mined a lot. So not 100% of this was mined in the last you know week or two. 
but probably you know this definitely this definitely was half of that it's pretty much just half I'd probably say about half of it and yeah so all these boxes are full to the brim here of cobble and all sorts of other uh, things you know I've been once I get you know a good amount of cobble I smelt it down for extra resource extra points so I can enchant things and there's a lot of that more smooth stone lots of cobble this is a chest cat chest cat lives inside there never comes out I'm not exactly sure what chest cat does in there but um, yeah that's chest cat and yeah so this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And thank you very much for sticking around. I know sometimes I disappear with little to no warning, and you guys always stick around. So I thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Details on, and it'll finally look super awesome. Finally look super awesome. So I'm going to need to take periodic trips down and pick up these quartz that I'm losing. Because quartz are very, very valuable. Probably, what do you think? you think quartz are more valuable than hardened clay? I think so. Unless you find a mesa biome. Unless you got one of them fancy mesa biomes in your uh, world. Then I am out of dirt. Alright, so as you can see, that's the design we're going to do. We just did.